Hey guys, do you know what we're going to be making today? We're going to be making one more DIY science project. It's going to be so cool. We're going to be making something that's called a real erupting volcano. Cool, right? So, we're going to mix DIY and science together and make a nice, amazing, real erupting volcano. Now let's see how it works. This thing is so good, you can use it for a telescope, you know. It's called a funnel, right? Yeah. Pirates, you know, at those times they could have used it to look for, uh, for places instead of a telescope, you know. This is much cheaper than that. If they don't find it, this is a really good backup telescope. Hey, okay, but why did I take this? Oh yeah, right? I was shooting. Great. Okay. So, I have to tell you about all the things what we are going to need to make our working volcano project, right? Oh yeah. So, first we will be needing... Um, a bottle, any empty bottle, don't put water in it because we're going to make this explode. Did I just mention that we're going to make this a real volcano working model? Yes, we're going to be making a real Yes, I, we, I did. So, we're going to need that and I've glued it to a cardboard piece. This is an empty a glue bottle. I emptied out all the glue into this. Okay, so then we'll need food color. Very, so you're going to need the lava to come in a very nice orange color because won't come in a red color because when you merge it with all this vinegar and baking soda, it's going to turn into a orange color. I think so. That's what I saw on videos. So then we're going to be using a lot of newspapers. Don't worry, we're going, not going to use them as a fan. We're going to be, make some rocks with them. And baking soda. This is the main part for the working model. Without this, the work, uh, your lava won't come out nicely. So then, as I said, glue. Glue you're going to need. Scissors. Snip, snip. Don't cut the person who's sitting near you. If they are. If they're not, then really good. So, a paint brush and some paint. If you're going to have a paint brush, you will mostly need a paint. That's what happens in my videos. Then vinegar. Just like the baking soda, this is also a main factor for making the lava burst out. Then some tape. And the funnel. The telescope. Okay, for now let's start making this project. So first we have to take a newspaper uh, about this size and crush it down into a ball like that. Okay, why are we doing this? For making the volcano look like a bunch of rocks but stuck together. Don't worry, it's not going to look up like a pile of rocks later. So don't worry about that. Sure. Tape stuck. Okay, so then you're going to tape the open parts like that. Okay, then you can see a paper ball is made. Oh, come on. Yeah, so after you take this, I hate these balls. Yeah, so after you take this, you're going to tape it with the, the bottle which we have got. Okay, let's take some tape, cut it out, and tape it. So then there, and oh no, the tape does not fit. Then I'll tape it from the other side. Not that much, and tape it.
rocks on your volcano your we will be starting with the second layer i just scrambled five pieces together maybe yeah six actually and then st stuck them together with tape so it secure nicely so you can see nothing's coming out so then we're going to start with the second layer so when we're cutting it we'll just be using half the amount of the paper we used before and we have to stick it uh, uh, to the top part uh, i mean on top of the raw so oh come on paper yeah so i'll be cutting it into half it's better if you use a little more than half and crumble it up and you can see it's this small so this is perfectly what you will want and then you will be taping the same thing do the small same thing just like we did before and then after you're done with the second layer we will be hopefully covering the whole volcano Red. 
Now I'm not going to use the chrome yellow. Yeah, a little bit of that. Then mix it. So I'm almost done with the painting, just have to paint a little more, you can see here, I did not get the perfect colors after I merged it the second time because my first time the paint was over, but it's almost the same color so it's fine. So the painting is done, you can see all sides have been covered, we just have to wait for a little bit of time. This side has been covered and done, I have to wait for this side to become dry. Um, what will I do in that time? So I have brought uh, the place for this volcano to sit. It's just a normal piece, a rectangular piece of paper. I'm not sure it will work with the paint I have because I'm really less. But I'm going to try my best and make it into a volcano setting. is also almost dry so I guess I have to wait for another 10 minutes so we're about to make our volcano erupt uh, the paint has dried and now just time for mixing our baking soda with a little bit of food color so then um, after I mix it, uh, the powder should look in a red color. So first let me pour some vinegar in it. And putting it right there. Take your, you can use the help of your funnel if you need to fill it. Okay, that's little too much I guess. Okay. Yes, that's perfect. So then we're going to put a baking soda inside a small piece of newspaper which you've got. Then fold it into half like this. You can see the baking soda will come out easily like that. So let me do this. And there you go. Flowers are up to you. also going to see how the volcano erupts right beside me. Come over here bro. Did you turn on the camera? Yeah, you did. Let me go check. Okay, hokey dokey, you did. So now you can see my brother came over here. 
He's gonna fill some vinegar. Yeah, fill it, bro. What yeah, should please. I do? You hold, fine. I'll hold the funnel. Oh my God, that's a little too much. Remove that. Okay, I'll be you doing this part because this part is not easy to do.